Hi guys, it's me, the math person. Today I'll be going over question 189 on SO exam P. So I'll pause the video quick and try to find myself. Okay, as me you are did it, let's just dive right in. So in 1982, um, Abby's mom scored 93rd percentile in the math SAT exam. In 1982, the mean score was in, I'm going to say mean 82 is equal to 503. And the variance, so um, standard deviation squared is equal to 9604. Okay, and then they gave you this information about Abby, and we're trying to find what percentile Abby is. Oh, and they'll, another thing, another key thing is they said math scores are normally distributed and stated in multiples of 10, aka you can't have scores like 4, 68, or like 3, 66, something like that. It just has to be rounded to the next um, 10. Let's find what her actual, her mom score was in Alright, so when her mom took the exam, she got x is less than little x is equal to 93rd percentile. So we're going to normalize this sucker out because we know this is normally distributed. So then that's probability of x minus mean over standard deviation is greater, less than x minus mean, which we know is 503, over standard deviation, which is um, square root of um, variance here, 9604. And that's equal to 0.93. So let's pull up our Z chart. 93% is about 0.93 here, like 1.47 or 1.48, let's say, is equal to 1.48. So that's equal to x minus 503 divided by, I mean, square root of 9604, which is 98 is equal to 1.48. So now we're just solving for x like a linear problem. So x is equal to 1.48 times 98 plus 503. So that's equal to 648.04. So because we know that math scores are only comes in multiple times, we can say this is equal to 650. So her mom scored a 650 on her math SAT. And now we want to try to see what Abby scored. If Abby got the same score, if Abby got 650, what would her percentile be in today's term? So today's term, the mean of 2008 is equal to 521. And standard deviation, or they give you the variance, of 08 is equal to 10,201. So we, we can kind of clearly see like her score, her percentile is going to be lower than her mom's, which was 93rd because the mean is higher. Probability that x is less than 650 is equal to what? So let's normalize it. x minus mean over standard deviation is less than 650 minus mean, which we know is 521, divided by standard deviation, which is square root of 1021. So that's 101 is equal to question mark. This is exactly the definition of z. So what is the probability z is less than 650 minus 521 divided by 101? So what is the probability that z is less than 1.2772? All right, let's pull up our z table again. Woo, 1.2, 1.27. So like that's like 1.28 maybe, like 1.228. So that's like 0 0.8997. Point 0.8997 so that's like I don't wouldn't say that I think that's closer to 90 than it is 89 so that's our answer B if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye